You guys just stay quiet. Let him say whatever he wants. He's an elderly guy. That's kind not an excuse, stuff. and you know better than that. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a little uh, video on Impact Media, a thoroughly disgusting group of young uh, men that go around fully masked up because they're original, uh, you know, cover, cover from head to toe, look like terrorists, and go out primarily to harass elderly people. That's my observation. They target the elderly as much as they possibly can uh, just to harass them. So let's take a look at these idiots. But if you guys just stay quiet, let him say whatever he wants. He's an elderly guy. That's kind not an excuse, stuff. and you know better than that. We disseminate them. I'm sorry? We disseminate them. We have a few different platforms that we uh, disseminate the footage. Well, I think you know something, but it's also hard, right? Because if you're going to disseminate these pictures. I seriously has, have to wonder why they dress like Al Qaeda, go out and uh, bother the elderly people, the elderly cities of these small towns they go to, which is primarily what they do. They go to small towns and harass old people. I, I don't get it. Uh, just to get video on YouTube, that, that's the whole point of this. It's amazing. It just amazes me the depravity that people will sink to to get a video. What? What kind of right do you do? Uh, there's, yeah. There is taking us pictures of our You don't have our permission. Well, you don't need it in public, and there's also no yeah, right. And you're covered up, too. Yes, yes, I am. So, uh, you can't take your picture. I'm well, you, your picture. You, yeah, 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 absolutely, you can. Absolutely. Do they, do they know you're doing this inside? Yes, they do. And actually, we have a guy in there. So we have two of these punk cowers on the outside harassing people, and they have another one that looks just like them because, like I said, they're original. The masks are original. Nobody ever thought of that before. How are you going to get somebody to ask you what you're doing uh, other than put on a mask and look like a freaking terrorist? This, this makes me sick. Even though they're kind of nice about it and all that, they know they're going to get the attention. They know we're in there. Okay, if I see my picture, I'm going to be unhappy if you put it on and I even have my okay. Hold this up. This is scary. Just so you guys know, should we call the police? I think they should go to somebody. This is not right. Okay, if you do call And that's a mask, too. This is a beard. This is real. This is my real beard. They only have mouths. Yeah, we have another clown with a fake beard on. That's also quite original. No. Because there, there is no right to you're, know. you're scaring us. But why would you why would you come up to someone that you're scared of? Yeah, if, if you're scared, if you were truly you're... scared, you wouldn't be approaching you us, know, sir. The way you're even handling this is oh. making me more scared. To tell oh, you the truth. We've been respectful with you the I'm whole time. You... Can you describe? How okay. Scared, well, Can you describe how we're scared? because you're masked. Okay. okay. This is a dangerous. Facility and situation. The post office is a dangerous oh, facility. Yes, people have been knifed and killed in various places like this. Well, I've been here. robbed and burgled. In this particular one, I'm not sure what the details are, but there was a gang member that attacked uh, a person in, in the uh, Ralph's parking lot. Right here. And brought to, about the, well, well we're we're not part of any gang, so you don't got to worry about that. Oh. So this gentleman who has been robbed by masked men in public and these guys don't care. They just don't care because they have a right to film whoever they want. There's no right to privacy in public. That's all it's all about. Making a video on YouTube. They don't care about the people they video. You're covered up. You can have tattoos everywhere. I think it's pretty obnoxious. 
I think your hair is obnoxious. We, are, we all have a right to opinion. You have a good day, man. That was a very mature thing to say to an elderly person. Your hair looks obnoxious. I'm right to, I have a right to my opinion. What an absolute asshole. <laughs> no, sir, there's a difference between what we're doing and what you're doing. You want to know what it is? We're Can you share the purpose of what you're doing? We're just out here to remind everyone if you want and demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. You're being filmed hundreds, if not thousands, of times a day. So the only way to create privacy in public is doing it yourself, masking up. Do you have a organization you're working with? To just, you just uh, no, we just do it independently. Yeah. What's the actual goal of it, though? Just to remind people that you're always being recorded in public and that if you demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. And of course, it has nothing to do with the fact that you make between $1,300 and $20,000 a month doing this stuff. Targeting elderly people. It's where you make your money. It's your bread and butter. Plain and simple. You thought he was going to hit you with it? I've just yeah. been standing here. Okay. Sir, if you were, you were so close, I could okay. walk. Sir, we record you. everything and his back is on the bush the entire time. Sir, if, if you thought that, you wouldn't have approached me. Even the cops can't back in us. Yeah, like, we way. have cameras everywhere. No, it might, it, the thing might not be charged. If he thought I was going to hit him with my stick, he wouldn't have approached. No, don't. Don't worry about it. They say there was some organization called America. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. How you guys doing? All right. Yes, yes. Is your yeah. body cam dead is why you're recording us with the phone or? No, they're both recording us. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't know. I was curious. Yeah. <clears throat> is, is that the phone number for that phone? Yeah. Okay. You can call it. I don't want to call it. Yeah, um, I just, I'm going to, oh, okay, cool, cool. I want to blur it out for you because I don't want your work phone number published. Yeah, I get for Okay. Just want to make sure. It's on track because it's a it's a work phone, so yeah. still don't need to get in a thousand calls in a day. No, no, we're not we're not trying to dox a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> well, <thank you. laughs> so I had to ask for clarification. <laughs> if he laughs one more time, I'm gonna vomit. Gonna vomit. Yeah, scaring elderly people. That's a good look for you. Sir, how about you just go on with your day? We're not blocking. Everybody's been able to walk through just fine. You have a good day. Who's blocking? You're blocking. I see a very blocking no, one. no one is blocking anything. I could fit a 400 pound woman right here. Your wife could fit right here. Hey, you caused yourself to almost have two accidents. What the hell? What? He just yelled at me because he almost backed in. I mean, I, I get what you guys are doing, but on one We've been end, nothing but super hold on, polite. Hold on. All right. Hear me out. Yep. On one end, you gotta take his age into consideration too. Mm -hmm. If you guys go back and forth yeah. with an elderly man, we weren't. You see what I'm saying? Well, okay. You're still. No, no. Did you hear what he was yelling though? Right. He said right. I almost caused him guys, to back into the other lady. Right. But if All you right. guys just stay quiet, let him say whatever he okay. wants. He's an elderly guy. The guy is probably you know taking medication, all that kind of stuff. I understand. Get his heart rate going. Then he shouldn't right. be driving. I was just answering the question. Yeah. He was asking me. I get it. He, he, he wasn't. Same time. He was asking questions. I was answering them. So. All right, I can't listen to these guys anymore. Nobody gets arrested or anything like that, but they did get kicked out of the post office. That's why they're standing outside. They're a bunch of freaking idiots. They do this for money. It's the only way they can make a living because they can't, none of them get a job, apparently. Jesus Christ. This is just... Oh uh, man, I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.